Hello everybody, welcome back to our video about C++ for OpenFormers. Now this video series is for uh, those of us who will use OpenForm but we have no idea how to program or do anything in C++. So this is our second video, we just want to go through some of the basic uh, C++ things. So without further ado, let's begin. Now remember in the last video we were talking about, okay, IcoFoam, for example, IcoFoam is written in C and uh, at least this is a C file and no open form is using C and uh, C++ and that's why we want to learn C++ so we've already made our simple hello world uh, C++ uh, kind of a, a thing okay and we use the compiler G++ with the output option to give us custom output files all right so um, yeah we, we can start messing around and we see what what the code actually does in the in this uh, C++ now uh, of course we look at that tutorial I, I gave in the last link by this uh, coding unit programming tutorials the link was in the last video and it will be in this video as well so the first two lines of code all right first two lines of code all right oh, hello world C++ yeah first two lines of code these are okay according to this guy is uh, talking about the libraries that we want to uh, use okay tells the processor to include the IO stream standard file and um, yeah so uh, use this file and it's uh, this is the standard input output library in C++ so um, yeah how how is this program going to know what to do when you say this thing c out because this this is our this is our main file i mean our main uh, function okay so uh if you've learned matlab before this is your function so this is the function we are doing we are we are giving it we're supposedly giving it some inputs in this case it's just blank and then based on the input it gives us an output so yeah how how does uh, how how is the program going to interpret what these inputs are? It will need to refer to this file called IO stream, and this that that line will tell us what the file uh, what how to interpret the language. Okay, so this um, all the stuff when you import this so called IO stream file, it needs to be so called declared in the in the uh, yeah, in the memory or something like that. So if you have done MATLAB, we are, we are, we are very familiar with this thing called workspace. So uh, this this is sort of, I would say, sort of in concept, similar to a workspace where you need to declare some variables, you need to define something, then you can start working with the variables. All right, so for example, uh, you take X, you want to say it's a, it's a float, which means it's a, a number with some decimals. Then you need to declare uh, x uh, as maybe two point something, two point one. Then we want to do x square, and then that will be inside the function. Okay, so this is just the basic two two lines first that are put over here. So just kind of sort of giving you an intuitive feel. It's a little more complicated than MATLAB, but well, it's C plus plus after all. Okay, so we'll start very simply. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So this is the beginning of our function file. All right, so uh, basically, what kind of function file is this? So the main thing here, the main, with the two brackets here, it says there's a function file. So th within these two brackets, we will usually put an input, uh, some variable, some number, uh, some a string, which, which also means text. Yeah, string is a use is a text. Okay, okay. So um, and what uh, this these are uh, these inputs are put within the brackets, and then it's supposed to give us an output. And what kind of output will it give us? Uh, usually, it's specified by this th first three letters, and this is a uh, integer. This is an in integer uh, kind of a function. So functions there are many kinds. You can it can be a string output or integer output. But this, you know, in the most basic case, it's the integer output. And um, let's go on. 
Now C out is the equivalent of print. Okay, so this is uh, it says this statement will print something to the screen, and what is it supposed to print? Well, you you will, you have to use this syntax with two, two uh, less or equal or that kind of thing. It's supposed to print out this uh, hello world statement, and it's within these two uh, uh, open inverted commas. Okay, um, so this is what you'll do. It will print this hello world and return zero. Return, it says return causes the main function to finish. So if you've learned MATLAB before, uh, it will be an end statement. So, all right, let's re recap. This is a function. Uh, it, it declares, okay, this is the this is a script I kind of want to run. Um, this C out, C out is basically a printing statement and um, return zero. Return zero means I want to end everything. So usually uh, if we specify, why, why is that a zero over here? We specified that, you know, this, uh, this is supposed to output sort of an, an integer. All right. This, this, uh, this function is supposed to return an integer. So we aren't calculating anything per se, but we still need to kind of end the program. So we'll, we'll tell the statement, okay, I need to return, which means I end the program, but I need to give it some kind of integer since this is an integer output. So the integer we kind of want to use, and this by convention according to this website, codingunit.com, it says that, okay, it, it will return zero. Zero means everything okay, one means something goes wrong. So that's what the return zero does. So, oopsie. When we when we uh, run the hello world script, hello world, it will print this hello world. Unfortunately, it is kind of stuck between uh, here and this uh, and my next uh, line, right? So how can I make it you know look nicer? Okay, um, I want to introduce you to this uh, command called end line. So n lines c plus plus. Now this is very basic also. All right. So there are there are tutorials that do this. So this guy uh, free code uh, under the freecodecamp.org, he does show you some of the very good uh, videos on what to do, what n line is. So um, I'm not going to copy exactly what he does. Because we are we are doing a tutorial with a, with a different slant, all right. So and he's using a he's not using Windows Subsystem for Linux, so um, that's that's not going to work for us as well. So okay, again we have a hello world, and it's going to print that output. But how can we make the output uh, fall in line, so to speak? Okay, so I'm going to vi. Our hello world dot c plus plus. Okay. So I'm going to insert this thing called end line here. So okay, syntax we got to take note. There's a space here, two arrows, two like less than equal to like straight bracket, then space again. Then you have the string called hello world. Space, two arrows, space and end line. Okay, so I'm going to quit, save and quit. I'm going to remove all our O, A dot out, and hello world. Okay, A dot star. Okay, so that, that removes the A out. Remove hello world. That removes our script. And then I want to... I want to, uh, yeah, I want to compile. So G plus plus, hello world, dot C plus plus, output of uh, modified hello world. Okay, so it's going to compile and it's done. It's very quick. And remember, I said in the last video, uh, if you try to open this up, it'll be giving you something unreadable. This is in binary format. So you can't do anything, but you can execute it. And this will 
get us hello world. And of course, if you want to print more statements, we can uh, we can do the following. Uh, vi hello world C++ and we can start printing out a statement as well. See out. Uh, I am Theo. Oh, or rather, I am uh, an open foam fan. Okay. And line and close. So save and quit. But remember, we have to compile it before. Uh, before uh yeah before we before we uh what do you call that can execute because if you execute this script it's going to same us uh, show us the same thing so let's run the g++ uh, script again all right so it's going to replace our old hello world and then it's going to say it's going to print hello world i'm an open form fan all right let's say let's say you want to reset everything let's say okay I mean, of course, we. This is actually a successful run of the code. We have sort of understand what C out and end line means, uh, but as basic practice, uh, basic practice, uh, I want to say. Let's say we want to revert all our changes, right? So this is a good thing about Git. Uh, it's great for version control. If we make mistakes in our code. We want to reset everything to the last commit. We just remove our remove dash r basic code. All right, and then we do a git reset hard, and that will restore everything. And there you have your a out and hello world, and then you'll give us the old code. All right, so a out remove hello world. Okay. Okay. That's okay. So um, I'm just going to insert this end line. And I'm going to insert. Hi. I love open foam. And I'm going to save and quit. And I'm going to G. Uh, Hello world of C++ with the output of I love open form. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna press L and we're gonna commit these changes to GitHub. Okay, so I love open form and yeah, that's all. Um so git add, git commit new printing script with I love open form. All right. So git push. Always good to save your changes to the repository. All right. So uh, that's that's basically it for explaining what the code does. Uh, and of course, we modified the code a little bit from hello world to do slightly more things. So. Of course, we will want to move towards uh, doing math with uh, this uh, C++. Um, uh, hopefully, to help us, you know, solve uh, equations and stuff like that. So, yeah, we will continue learning more C++. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.